Miles Mustangs. It's Carolyn, your art lady, back again with a project this week for families. So I'm hoping that you will accept Miss Jackie's challenge and consider doing an art project as a family to share with us on Facebook or someplace. Um, so this project is all about us spending time together in quarantine. We might think of this as a memento of this kind of unexpected, unusual, and somewhat magical time that we're spending together. So you can see that this sample that I've got here on the table is actually painted using acrylic paint on a palm frond. So a palm frond, of course, is that bit of bark that comes off the palm trees. I found this on um, Broadway between Swan and Craycroft, kind of in the median. But a lot of you probably have these on the ground at home. So what you want to do is you want to pick up a palm frond and clean off the surface, clean off the surface so that it's dust free. And what you're going to do is, if you notice, this particular piece has overlapping and interlocking hands. So the directions are that you want to gather the members of your family, and actually they don't have to all be there at once, of course. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be overlapping the hands. So this was one person's hand, this was somebody else's hand, this is a little piece of another hand, and I think this is hand number four on this side. The other side, I believe, has one, two, three. It looks like this side has three. So I made this particular sample, and actually it's not quite finished, so I will finish it and I'll post it on our Facebook pages. I made this piece to celebrate the people that I'm doing quarantine with, and they aren't all actually family members. Um, so I have in my household myself, my daughter, my roommate, her two daughters, and we also have a nine-week-old puppy and an 18-month-old puppy, who I think I'm going to include in this project. So what that means is, let's see, one, two, three, that's my roommate and her two daughters, one of the dogs, another dog, me and my daughter. So my plan is, in order to finish this project, I would actually paint people's names here in the hands so that we can just have this piece to remember this kind of amazing and very special, unusual time that we have together. All right, so I'm going to move over here and I'm going to show you a palm frond that's work in progress. So here's the palm frond with just the white hands drawn on them, and I'm going to show you kind of how the hands went. So one was here, and another hand was here, and another hand was here. So you can see that the hands can go in all sorts of different directions, because really what you want to do is you want to make sure that the fingers overlap each other, right? And um, the idea is to just uh, indicate and symbolize on our project that we are all in this together and that we've all been very patient and loving and kind and gotten through a very kind of unusual experience as a family unit. So here's some tools you could use and here's my side that's got nothing, of course. You could draw with Sharpie, if you happen to have Sharpie at home. You know, have everybody do their hand with, with the Sharpie. And, of course, you can draw around each other's. Um, this tool is called a China marker. It's kind of like, it's almost like oil pastel. And that's what I drew with over here, nice and white. But I also practiced and I found that just a simple little white colored pencil drew okay on this dark um, bark as well. So... The point is, I hope that you and your family will consider making a quarantine memento by just picking up a palm frond somewhere around Tucson. Um, and the paint that I used for my project is acrylics. Now, you could actually probably use temper paint, but or you could use house paint if you have that. But just as a reminder, um, there are acrylic paints available in tubes at the Dollar Tree also in little bottles at Walmart for like 55 cents, and also Michael's is still open. So, um, students who've been working with me at Miles will notice that in this particular palm frond, I used one family of color. I used kind of the purple family. I've got some purples and some dark purples and lots of reds and pinks. So that means I really only used uh, red. Let's see, I used red, white, and a purple. 
and then I just mixed these colors. So you can do this any way your family likes, whatever colors are appealing to your family members. And as I say, I'm going to finish this project. I'm going to add some more color as outlines around the hands, and then I'm going to put the names of all the people and the beings, that means the doggies, that I have been in quarantine with. So I can't wait to see your version. Please have fun and post, post, post. Can't wait to see them.